Hey everyone, Jabali here, the CEO Gaming Channel. Uh, I just want to say it's coming to the end of 2022. Merry Christmas to all of you and happy holidays. Today's video, the At Games Legend Ultimate uh, uh, arcade cabinet. Now these have been around for a long while. I actually bought my nephew a few years ago their standalone stick that had like a puck that you can connect to a TV, the At Gamers Legends. And this community, P-Dubs, all you guys, Wagner Tech Talk, been checking you guys out, awesome stuff. And I was really impressed with the Bit LCD board, which is a basically a color marquee board that will display JPEGs, some animations on the screen as you're shifting through the game. So really want to add that, you know, arcades are more of art to me than uh, the gaming themselves. So I, I just love kind of collecting, but this one, looking forward to it. I also have another product to add on to this coming in a few days called the Ad Games Legends Quad Play, which is a four player full size stick. I uh, have, you know, the arcade one offs when you try to put four people on a tiny NBA jam doesn't go very well. This is, I believe, the one point one or 1.2 version. Uh, these were all on sale. That's why I kind of waited. I'm glad I did. Uh, I got it for four hundred seventy dollars from Sam's Club with my membership. Then the bit LCD was about hundred dollars off at two fifty, and then the quad play, which is about three hundred, was on sale for one eighty. So that's coming in a few days because there's sales. So uh, shout out to Ad Games for always putting these on sale. But again, product's been out for a while. There's been a lot of reviews over the years, but with this bit LCD and the quad play kind of being newer to the scene and the uh, communities putting together all these um, you know image packs and marquee packs, uh, got me really excited to do it. So with that said, I hope you enjoy this review, of my final uh, little project of 2022. So before I get to unboxing, I just want to kind of show you the box that this comes in. Now, I always like the RK one-ups for the aesthetics of how their designs are in their boxes. So colorful, they, you know, kind of stand out at the Walmart um, or wherever you go and check it out. But the Out Games Legend, you know, very good boxing, I think. And then this Bit LCD is a separate add-on, like I was just mentioning. And I'm kind of, this is pretty much why I bought this cabinet. I do have a full-on main cabinet that has everything, but can't really change out the marquee. It's from Rec Room Masters, who right now, uh, they no longer exist. Uh, I've heard the rumor that Rec Room Masters is coming back with new ownership, so I'm looking forward to that. But for now, this bit marquee, I'm just really excited to check out. So to kind of just show you everything, comes with a nice little toolbox that's not in like plastic. So it's all in here with all the screws and bolts and everything that you need. The instruction manual right here looks very simple. Um, so kind of looking forward to that. I'll put that together in a moment. But kind of instructions on how to put everything together, set up. Now what's cool is the, uh, what I like about the At Games Legends is the user interface. It might not look the cleanest, but there's just so much to it. It's not a powered on play of the games. They give you so many options on, you know, rental service, streaming service to play games uh, whenever you want on your own schedule uh, through them. Uh, add your own games, BYOG. So a lot of different programs that add to it, but super cool. And then here's some of the games that are listed on it. So Aladdin, there are some console games, but Burger Time's a classic, Centipede, um, Karate Champ. So it doesn't come with, uh, you know, the latest and greatest, but it does come with some really legit classics that I think anyone would enjoy of any generation. So also came with a nice little 2022 catalog showing you all their other products. Uh, you got that there. Then in here, actually, yeah, it looks, no, laptop. So, and then you've got, we'll mount it to the wall. Now what's cool is the top part is pretty much already done. You're just gonna put it on the base. So super cool, we're gonna get to that and uh, keep moving forward. But that was very simple. Actually one of the easiest builds I've seen for an arcade cap. So kudos to At Games Legends for making this really simple. Uh, height wise, I am six foot two, so I'm a little tall, but once the control panel is here, it actually feels natural. I don't have to hunch down too much. I'm actually naturally like right there. So I'll show some more footage of that later when the games are going, but the only, uh, Quick thing to be careful of, I kind of had to unscrew this back. Uh, it was hard for me to get the wires from the inside of the monitor to plug it into the stick itself, but power cable, USB for the controls, and then another little uh, power cable uh, right there to connect everything to the PCB. Uh, but for the most part, a couple more screws to go. Uh, this is the back of it. Obviously that's your entire like motherboard right there, probably an Android processor running all the emulators and everything. A couple wires here. Now I am gonna get this going before I set up my bit LCD part, which I'm really excited about, which is going to completely replace this marquee. So this is the last you're gonna see of this. Uh, for the most part, that's just a static lit up marquee. But I, again, bought this mostly for the bit LCD that I'm about to install after I get this up and running, but a couple more screws to tighten this. But what's cool is as soon as I get that four player stick, I can just basically pull it out, unscrew a couple screws right here, and then I am good to go. But for the most part of the art, you know, kind of jank. Um, throw everything on and hope a kid sees it at Sam's Club and goes, hey, I like Fix It Felix. Um, so that was cool. But a lot of classic games on the front there. They obviously have this licensed with everything. So super cool. But again, not a bad build. It's uh, pretty sturdy once it's there. So 
no bottom, so to speak. You have like a kind of hollow inside and everything, but yeah, not bad at games. This is really cool uh, and kind of slim too. So it's going to be fit flush against a wall. Again, 24 inch screen. The standards on arcade one ups are 17. Uh, the iArcade, I believe is a 19 inch. So one of the bigger screens is also widescreen. They do have an at game legends uh, ultimate mini, which lets you rotate the screen. You manually got to take the screws out and, and rotate it for kind of sh uh, shmups and uh, top down like Donkey Kong stuff like that it does stretch it a little bit. But for the most part, this build was relatively simple. And now you see it in person. The yard is not that bad, actually. It just kind of stands out and everything. You can kind of turn that inside out. Uh, or I'm sure lots of routes, but I do like the silver shiny trim here. That's a nice touch right there. I really like that. So super cool. And then obviously this comes with spinners for games like Tempest. Uh, you know, if you ever add golden tea or bowling games, you got your spinner. Now the four player stick, I would have to take this out of the default and then add it into the newer one which is a whole nother process so i may or may not do that i have a little ball spinner and spinners on my main cabinet so i'm not sure i need it here i specifically got this for a the bit lcd marquee you're gonna see and for four player just beat them up so my friends come over this will be the first thing you see when you plug this in the at games logo and the marquee already lights up so it's cool because uh most of the cabs you got a couple uh you know you got to plug in the LCD or the light up here into the motherboard, but everything was pretty much all set on. The top was done. Uh, the only thing I had to connect was the stick to that, and they made it so easy to basically swap out the stick with any future products they might have. Um, but for the most part, right now, I saw a little mouse cursor up here. Welcome aboard. Next page. Free. Register now. So they have all these software updates, prepaid tools, all that. So I'm going to get everything set up. I just want to kind of show you what happens when you do set this up. All right, so I am back. Everything has been set up that I wanted to set up with this thing. I actually had to kind of wait overnight for a lot of the USB files for the BitLCT uh, to get added to a very uh, slow flash drive. So if you do buy USB sticks to update and add CoinOps X, you get the BitLCD. Try to get the fastest read-write speeds possible so it kind of keeps up with it. I had some older ones because I forgot to buy an extra one. Uh, so I format uh, uh, FAT32 to make it work. But I honestly spent a few hours playing this. I had a friend come over, go through some games. Uh, I'm honestly impressed by the build quality of this compared to what you find for anything around the you know five to six hundred dollar mark. But I'm a big guy. I'm six foot two, 250 pounds. I can you know I can move. I put a lot of force. But if you're standing here, you're going to be fine. And I'll have some uh, you know some footage of me playing it, standing it as a normal adult, just to kind of see. But you know, design wise cheesy but this is what sells at a sam's club or a walmart or wherever they have it uh publicly but uh the build again super great quality this feels like an adult sized cabinet it has about 300 games now a lot of these are the older uh classics that you you might remember like 80s early 90s no street fighter no major capcom games but it's got a couple super nintendo games uh a couple other console games but for families like if you had no idea about modding or changing anything up uh, there's more than enough to do, plus they have all their online services that you can get and pay for, ArcadeNet, uh, kind of like a streaming service of games, which is cool. So I got to give them props. As somebody who uh, understands business models, they do a really good job of promoting this thing with having an online subscription service, uh, updates all the time, letting you know what's out, adding pinball. I did not add the pinball buns because I will, which would go to the side that was also in the box, but uh, for some pinball games that they have because I will be adding the four player stick when that comes in my next video about the app games and the main reason I bought this, right? So I didn't buy it for the 300 games it came with. I bought it because it has a beautiful community that has already put together some incredible stuff for it. And what I like about this bit LCD is everything basically matches up. And now this was a community put together project. The bit LCD is an official item where they are supposed to update images to add to it. They did not so much yet. So what the community did was, was go kind of balls to the wall with adding stuff. Before I show you BitLC to end this video, I like this control panel. Right here, you have an HDMI in port. So you can actually add like a, uh, a console with HDMI and then use this 24 inch screen to play it. And I honestly think the quality of this 24 inch 1080p 60 uh, hertz screen is pretty solid for what it is and what it comes with. So, you know, I didn't notice any lag playing the games. They were great. Um, but having the HDMI is amazing. Has two USB ports, a 3.0 and a regular 2.0. Uh, which is super cool. This is where my CoinOps X drive is on a tiny Samsung drive right there. Uh, that is basically what is going to show you all the main games that I have set up on here through CoinOps X, which is a community program that put together everything. Can't tell you where to download it, but 
CoinOps S, Saucy Edition. Look it up, Google it. You'll find everything you need to know and watch some tutorials, which I will link so you guys have, kind of have an idea. But also here, a bun. This will switch it between HDMI to what's on the screen now, uh, directly from the system. And it's running off like a, uh, a quad processor uh, rock. Uh, it's usually what a lot of emulators run out. It's not an Android build. It's running its own kind of custom software, which they did a good job. Uh, and then on the right side, you've got the volume buttons here, nice clicky buttons you see going up 100 different levels um, again lots of different settings in this thing they, they added so many different things and then this is what i'm excited for the quad play which is a four player f uh, arcade stick now to the most important thing for a lot of you guys that are my friends that know that i play on high quality arcade cabinets for you know fighting games throughout the years this is not that kind of quality but Compared to a lot of the other stand-up cabs I've seen of this kind of uh, generation, uh, these aren't bad sticks. These aren't Samoa parts by any means. These are the you know the inward uh, buttons that aren't what you're used to in Japanese. They're laid out Japanese style, but they're American buttons. Um, but they feel clicky. They're great. Uh, you know they they work for what these games are. Uh, this thing isn't going to process anything past. I think Third Strike doesn't work, but Second Impact does. Anything up until like early 2000 uh, will be the latest you're going to see, but it has all the King of Fighters, all that. But again, this is so cool that this LCD is matching everything that I see on my screen. Uh, which again, this was on sale for $250. It's normally $350. This is why I bought this machine, just to have, kind of have it as an art piece to go, uh, you know, make some space over there. Um, but again, power button right there. Uh, simple power cable has Ethernet. I'm on Wi-Fi right now. Uh, I don't plan to play other people online with this thing, but again, kind of show you everything. And then I will let this go and show you why I honestly got this thing that I think a lot of you watching this might be interested in to check out. But this is the App Store X. This is how they add all their add-on packs like pinball games. It's got a track mode. You can kind of see it. Um, you can buy those, but I got it for this bad boy right here, CoinOps X. I'm going to hit that Abe machine, the CoinOps X uh, add-on. Uh, they seem to uh, keep updating this. Um, it uses its own kind of file system. You have to use an add-on X tool that converts it to where this system can actually read the files. It's not like just adding a ROM file and boom, you play it. It has its own little program to do that, but again, nice lineup of games. If I hit this player one start, I'm going to go. I went through some of my favorite games on here to kind of show you, but it's just so cool that you have all these marquees, Bucky O'Hare, great four player game. And again, they already divided everything up. It's really well organized. It's not like 50,000 games. I think I have like 1800 games on this 5.0 edition. Uh, pretty much they curated all the best main games. Nothing's really missing that I can think of up until, you know, what you can't run anything past like 2001. Uh, but again, Final Fight, a lot of three, four player games I'm excited about. Magical Drop 2, one of my friends favorite puzzle games. Uh, you know, three, you got uh, Make Tracks, Narc, and it's very easy to remove stuff. So this game, I don't want in my favorites. Just hit that button right there. It will remove it. And now it's gone. Oh, I don't want to get rid of Narc, but NBA Jam. So again, got this for the four player play. I got it for this LCD. You can update these very easily. They're just JPEG files that you swap in with the same file name. Uh, and then that's it. But these guys, again, they put it all together. Thank you guys, really, if you do ever see this video, as somebody who's been in the arcade uh, uh, industry and uh, gaming events, this is really impressive, it brings me back. It makes it so easy for me to invite friends, family over to just play everything, check it out, look really cool. One of my favorites, Smash TV, Super Street Fighter 2. Just seeing this artwork is such a beauty. Uh, yeah, Puzzle Fighter, this runs well. Sunset Riders, one of my favorite beat em ups, uh, shoot em ups. Uh, four players, always pick third player with a shotgun. Uh, he's got a wide spread. So, Irritating Maze. If you haven't heard of this game, this is a Neo Geo game. Not a lot of, uh, you know, uh, packs out there have this game installed, but it's it, what's cool about this thing as well, as I didn't mention it, is some of the games use a spinner, which is really solid. It's got everything you need. You don't hit the screen when you go up. Like, you know, right there I kind of hit it, but I had to aim it directly there. Just a couple trackballs. Now, what I don't like about the four player one, I can swap it out of this one and put it in, otherwise you buy an optional trackball. These spinners aren't on it. I don't know how many games I'll play with a spinner, although Arkanoid's one of my favorites. I have Bluetooth mode. Uh, lights will flash there, so I haven't really connected stuff with Bluetooth, but again, purpose of this for me was to have a, a you know a four-player cabinet once I get that quad play stick in. Just beat them ups with friends together, so, uh, Bomberman, four-player. But you see right now how it's shifting the game, and then automatically shifts with that, so super cool. And then again, these guys with this CoinOps X, just having all these different categories, Halloween arcade games. Oh, look how pretty that looks. 
Yeah, Aliens vs. Predator, and then keep going, Holiday, Williams Classic, Taito. So again, they, they put in a lot. They have light gun games here. I did order the Sindon light guns. I kind of want to see uh, if it's possible to connect. Didn't really find any videos. But again, super cool on the marquee, guys. I absolutely love this. This is why I got the machine. And that's it for my review of the At Games Legends Ultimate with the Bit LCD. Absolutely love this thing. I wanted to record a little outro for you guys. Could have shown a lot more content, but if you guys want to see more about the coin ops build or learn about my favorite uh, arcade games of all time, why don't you let me know in the comments below what your favorites are. But uh, for the most part, excited to install the quad play. That'll be in the next video. But I really want to just say great job on At Games. Great job to the community for putting together the bit all CD images and everything. But uh, hope you enjoyed this review. 2023 is about to start and I'm going to have so much more content for you guys. But uh, please like and subscribe everything. And uh, stay tuned for more on the CEO Gaming Channel. Happy New Year. C-E-O.